4th of July travelers are hitting the road and catching flights. Colorado Springs Airport is expecting this weekend's travel numbers to break records, even surpassing pre-pandemic levels. Nationwide, TSA expects to screen more than 2.8 million people. 11 News reporter Caitlin Quisenberry is live outside of Colorado Springs Airport. Caitlin, you actually spoke with a few travelers. How is flying this weekend? Grace, the Colorado Springs Airport is prepping for a big weekend here. The holiday weekend, travel experts tell me, will bring an increase of traffic, delays, and cancellations. And one Colorado Springs visitor tells me the best thing to do to handle all of that is to plan ahead and expect a crowd wherever you go this Independence Day. The Colorado Springs Airport is anticipating up to 34,000 travelers this holiday weekend. I spoke with one national, Nashville resident who said it's important to put your safety first when traveling. He recommends having safety apps and having your bags and tickets ready ahead of time before checking into a flight and an Arizona resident recommends talking with your Uber driver for the best places to visit or eat when visiting a new city. Show up early. Show up early. It's never you can never show up too early. That's my philosophy, especially with little ones. And bring snacks. Bring That's snacks. always the best thing. And yeah, and if you show up early, you can kind of lounge with your drinks before you go through security and have to dump them off. So that family tells me they will be hanging out with their 100-year-old grandfather, watching fireworks, and eating hot dogs back in Texas. Live in Colorado Springs, Caitlin Quisenberry, KKTV 11 News. Thanks, Caitlin. And another thing to remember is to check flight aware or check your flight status before heading out the door. So far, there are about 14 delays at Colorado Springs Airport. And at the Denver Airport, there have been at least 10 cancellations and over 295 delays just today. Let's get over.